uh, kind of tired, but did some cleaning, and I don't know, I feel like I might have a little bit of energy to go put that new sway bar in, um, so I guess we could try that out, and I don't know, see how that goes. Also, we decorated for Christmas, got the stockings, there's our tree. We also got some decorated the table. We got some nice Christmas lights on the steps. Those look dope at night. Ugh. It's too cold out for this. Might have to warm the garage up. Oh. One through big mud pool in the truck the other day and I tried to clean it off but uh yeah we'll have to do that later I guess so this is our new sway bar um, it is a white line 26 mil sway bar um, and then I also have upgraded ener uh, energy bushings um, so this is going to go in place of our stock sway bar and this is meant for a four cylinder which is awesome because I thought about doing the V6 swap but I'm not going to and uh, I kind of just got this not knowing that it would only because something about the exhaust um, it won't clear with a V6 so if anybody has a Mazda 6 um, I'm sure you can use this on a speed 6 but I don't know about a 6S so uh, yeah, basically all we're gonna do, let me get some light in here. All we're gonna do is there is that knot right there. Let me zoom in on it. We have to take that one off and then the other one off on the other side. And then there are two bolts that'll hold the bushing in place. I'm kinda glad that I'm doing this now that the motor is out because I have a lot more room to play with and uh, I don't have to worry about getting oil leaked on me from my leaking rear main seal. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so because of the sway bar end links are on there really tight and it has some stupid Allen like keyhole in the threads, um, I can't get them off. So I think what I'm gonna do is just cut them out because you can get a set of new ones for like $20 and mine were kind of worn out anyway. So better to have that peace of mind of having new parts rather than trying to make these ones work. And plus if I need to get them off again, I already stripped one of them out. So I'll probably just cut them out and then get new ones. Now that both the end links are off, um, what I'm gonna do is just take off these brackets. Don't mind all the blown axle grease. And then we will bolt on our new one. on this and um, I got this these bolts off I don't know if you can see back there there's one gone there's one gone I got that off both sway bar end links are disconnected so now all that's left are these two bolts way back in there all the way back in there how am I supposed to get to that so I just kind of like sat around looking at it for about a half hour and uh, I figured the only way to actually get to those would be to disconnect the steering column. So I went ahead and I did that. There's just three bolts, those big bolts right there. Uh, if you have a Mazda 6, they are 15s. And uh, yeah, I guess that's the only way to really do it. And that should give me enough room to 
either stick a socket back there or something because there actually was room if I went around to this side. Um, but the only problem is I could stick a 15 wrench in there, but there's no way the nut would come off just because if it went far enough, it would hit this, uh, this steering column. So steering column is all off right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can't fit anything in there. So this quickly turned into a nightmare. Um, I got one bolt off, as you can see right there. I got that one off, but now there's the one on the back side, which is all the way over there. It'll focus. And you can kind of see it. There's absolutely no way to fit my socket back there. So I have to either think of some creative way to fit a socket in there, or maybe go out and get a different 15 wrench. Um, we'll see, we will see, but it's so, so, so close. I just hate being stuck up on one bolt. And if I know a lot of people who watch these probably work on cars, if you guys work on cars, you obviously understand the struggle of being so close to something, but having something so stupid and so little in the way. So uh, hopefully we can figure a way to get that out because I really want to have this off tonight, but if not, then I'll just pick it up another time. So I've been trying on that bolt for a while now, and uh, I think I'm probably just gonna have to go out and buy new tools or buy a different socket. Um, but I'm probably just gonna stop for today right here. Um, I'm gonna go inside and finish up a little bit of some editing and then some stuff for the website. Um, but yeah, I think we did make a little bit of progress today and I'm kinda glad that I got started on that. It was better than just sitting inside and doing nothing. So um, feel free to uh, stay tuned and uh, make sure to check out the website for uh, a lot of new info. And uh, yeah, if you wanna contact me about any parts or any uh, custom parts, feel free to do that. So uh, I'll see you guys later.